Hey guys, so I have made a very important project about resetting password of your uh, account. Okay, so this project is based on uh, Django and Django REST framework. So first of all, I will uh, show you that how the project actually works. So for that, I am using Yop Mail for a dummy purpose and I'm, I am also using SendGrid API key for sending email. Okay, so uh, let's see our postman. So this is the route localhost slash account for the registering new user. So let's say my user is Dominic Dominic Toretto. Okay. And this is my user email and the password let's say same both email and password all are same. That's not a problem for us. So if I click on send it says our user is registered successfully now if i open my db sqlite file as you can see dominic toretto uh, dominic user has been registered all right now our second api is for try password which is i am designing for testing that email and password both are same or not so if i enter the email and the password because both are set to same if i click on send it says both match if i uh, let's say enter the wrong password say and if i click on send it says not match and the interesting thing is the password is in the hash format if you can see okay all right now our third route which is reset password slash email this route is for sending the uh, otp for that particular email okay where user click on the reset password email uh, route actually so let's see so first of all i just enter the email if i enter the wrong email which is does not uh, exist in the user's table after all so it says uh, it throws a error let's see so if i click on send it says email not found because if I open up my code slash user, the custom user model table, there have no need of email related to that email. So just I put this correct email and let's see what happened. So if I put the correct email and if I click on send, you can see password is sent to registered email successfully. So if I now open up my Yop mail, you can see our mail has been gotten okay now uh, now let's uh, check the enter OTP route okay so this is the route for entering the email which is the forgot email if you using it as a front-end framework like react.js uh, Vue.js, or maybe it is a mobile library or angular whatever you use right you just need to hit this route and you just need to put the email for that uh, route okay the at the second route is for entering the otp only and here you need to enter the forget email and also the password which you have been got in your email okay so let's uh, enter the email and also enter the corresponding password which has been sent to that email so i just put the password if I enter the wrong password and uh, say wrong email, let's see what happened. It says, uh, okay, I need to send the post request actually. It says invalid OTP or email. So I need to correct the email. Now if I send, it says invalid OTP or email. All right. Let's enter the correct email and OTP. And if I click on send, it says success and we got the success token right this is the main important part so now we need to copy this token and we need to visit to another route which is new password so if you can see this is the three flow stages first is for uh, entering the email when the user enter the email user got a password into that email and after that user will be redirect to this route which is for entering otp where user just only enter otp and if the user enter the correct email and correct OTP, he or she will get this access token, which is a JWT access token. And now 
he or she will be redirected to this route which is for entering the new password now you need to enter the new password let's say the password is dom123 okay and if i click on send you can see authentication credential not provided so we need to enter this access token as the bearer token so i go to the uh, authorization bearer token and i just paste the token now let's uh, send the request so as you can see password reset successfully now if i go to my uh, core user table you can see password got changed but in it is in the hash format because if i open up my serializer.py file you can see this is the code where i just update the password in the hash format okay now you can see this is my current new password right and this is the older password which is if i click on send it says it's not matched right but if i enter the new password here and if i click on send it says it matched it mean our code is working perfectly i hope this video is helpful for you guys thank you so much guys for watching this video i will see you in the next time and my request is you need to follow this code step by step right this is the main file actually guys this is the main app which is account under account i have mentioned the uh, reset urls uh, urls right and the views logic has been written here in the views.py file so if you know how to work in django and django rest framework you just see the code step by step code is so simple you just need to understand the flow one by one okay so this is the thing guys because i cannot uh, make the code to you because it time consuming if you just come to this video after watching many types of videos or many types of article i know that you already knows how to make a api in django rest framework so my opportunity my opportunity is not to show you how to make this code i just share this code with my blog or any types of article link whatever you sh uh, see in the video or maybe the description box you just need to try by yourself thank you so much guys watching this video i will see you in the next time